New tonight, health is improving for the lone survivor of a group of orca captured in Penn Cove in 1970. And locals hope this news will finally lead to her return home to local waters. And tonight we're hearing from a lovely elder who has fought for years to bring the orca home, as well as from the group that got independent vets into the Miami Seaquarium that's held her captive for years. Fox 13's Matthew Smith joins us live in studio. Matt, this story has caused a lot of pain over the years, but it sounds like tonight there is some hope. That uh, Tokate can one day swim with her relatives. Now, anyone who has seen a southern resident orca, the way they behave, the way they interact, in a word, it is magical. This is actually a video we got just last week of J Pod. Now, Tokate was actually a member of L Pod. And after the news we got this week, some believe she could one day be in our coastal waters where her extended family could make contact. It isn't about the vets, it isn't about the dolphin company. It's about our relative, Scally Toctonaut. The Lummy know her as Scally Toctonaut. Quite literally, she's viewed as a relative. Some locals call her Tokatai. And in Miami, for roughly five decades, she's Lolita, whatever the name. For years, there's been a growing movement to get her home. Earlier this year, we told you about concerning news. Tokatai was sick. Now, behind the scenes, a flurry of activity led to this report. In a nutshell, it says she's improving. Anything that we are discussing in terms of her future, first and foremost, needs to be about her and needs to be about her health and welfare. As Charles Vinnick from the Whale Sanctuary Project tells me, the aspirational goal is to get her home. But for now, there's celebration that outside vets even got a look at her. Having that level of transparency is, frankly, unprecedented in terms of Lolita's life. Just a few years ago, any group even talking about removing her from Miami would hear this. This is really a misconception that this group has, is that, um, that she's going to be freed. And, and, and that's just not the case. Since then, she's been retired. A new group, the Dolphin Company, has come on scene, and groups working on bringing Tokatai or Scully Tuktanat home, well, they tell me this could actually happen. Because I believe it's our ancestors clearing her path home, guiding me on the work, our withholding, our sacred obligation. It's not about my time frame. If it was, I would have had her home. But that's not what's best for her. I, I know that. And they say it has to be in her time. So the ultimate hope is that she can be weaned off of medicine and stay healthy. Now, if that happens, an open sea pet on the Sailor Sea that looks something like this could be in her future. This is actually a conceptual graphic from Sacred Lands Conservancy. But before you get to this, you got to check off a lot of boxes. I'm told the group has been collaborating for years on a living document, dozens of pages long, that outlines how Scully Tuktonaut could transition. It looks at science, at biology, and of course, there's that cultural piece as well. 